hello friends welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification in today's video we are going to see the diking dc inverter cassette type vrv and split type air codes for the outdoor unit and their solution as we know inverter air conditioning if we get any error code the error code is mainly for specific part that we can do the maintenance for the specific part or we can replace it and we can make our unit work and for all other air conditioning error codes and their solution i will provide the link in the description you can check there and you can get the solution for all other air conditioning error codes without wasting our time let's see the diking dc inverter outdoor unit error codes and their proper solution which can make you easy to do the troubleshooting and work faster Let's see the first error code when you see in your auto display E1 it means defective outdoor unit PCB in our split type or cassette type we have only one PCB or two PCB in that we have IPM board we have bridge rectifier we have DC converter we have power filter everything in assembled in one PCB when you get this error E1 then you have to check the components of your PCB if any one of the component is burned or is not responding then you have to change that component and you can make the solution for the error E1 if you are not finding any component burn or is damaged if it is damaged from internally then you have to change the outdoor PCB board and you will get the solution for the error E1 let's see the next error code when you see in your outdoor display e7 it means faulty outdoor fan motor first of all you have to check the fan motor if the fan blade is not stuck anywhere in the outdoor unit by any obstructions if sometimes if there is any obstructions our fan blade is not rotating at that time we get this error e7 and even if our fan motor is faulty that time also we get this error e7 and even if our pcb is not giving power supply to the fan motor that time also we get this error first of all you have to check the obstructions then if there is no obstruction then you have to check the out supply from the outdoor pcb which is coming to our fan motor if the power coming to the fan motor is accurate then you have to change the out fan motor and you will get the solution if the fan motor is okay then you have to change the outdoor pcb and your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you get in your outdoor display error e8 it means over current of compressor it means the compressor is getting over current that's why it's showing the error e8 first of all you have to find the solution why our compressor is getting over current sometimes in the ipm board also we get over current due to that our compressor is not working at that time also it show this error even if the current is not proper coming to the outdoor pcb that time also it show the error e8 you have to rectify if the power from the outdoor PCB is coming properly to the compressor or not. If the power is not coming perfectly, then you have to change the outdoor PCB and again you have to check. Again, if you get the same error, it means you have the issue in the compressor. You have to replace the compressor and you will get the solution for the error E8 and your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your auto display E9, it means electronic expansion wall malfunctioning. Electronic expansion wall is in our outdoor unit which give the proper refrigerant according to the cooling capacity of our indoor unit. If we set the temperature in 16 degrees Celsius, if the cooling required is more, that time the wall will open more in expansion wall and it will give more refrigerant flow to our indoor unit to satisfy the cooling. If this doesn't happen at that time if the expansion wall is not working at that time it will show the error e9 you have to change the electronic expansion wall and you will get the solution for the error e9 and your unit will be working normal let's see the next error code when you see in your auto display f3 it means malfunctioning of discharge pipe sensor as you can see in the picture this is our discharge pipe sensor which is installed in our discharge line of our outdoor unit near the compressor. First of all, you have to check the placement if it is placed on the discharge pipeline or not. If it is not placed or removed, you have to place it and you have to again test it. Again, if you are getting the same error, then you have to see 
there is a coil sensor which is attached to a discharge line if it is rusted or if it has some kind of fungus or mold you have to use the sandpaper and you have to clean it and you have to again install and check again if you are getting the same error then you have to check the resistance if the resistance is good it means our sensor is good then you have to change the outdoor pcb you will get the solution and if the resistance is not good change the sensor and you will get the solution Let's see the next error code. When you see in your auto display H3, it means high pressure switch faulty. The high pressure switch is installed in our discharge line of our compressor. If the discharge line get high pressure at that time, our switch get sense and it show the error. Sometimes it get blast also due to the very much high pressure. To avoid this, during the charging of refrigerant, you have to careful. You have to charge according to the weight or according to the back pressure of our system then you will not get the error H3. Sometimes if the pipe is blocked or our captor is blocked, that time when our refrigerant is not passing, at that time also it show the error H3 due to the high pressure of our refrigerant. You can avoid all these things and you can get the solution for the error H3. When you see in your auto display H4, it means low pressure switch faulty. Low pressure switch is installed in our section line of our outdoor unit to sense the pressure which is coming back from our indoor unit to the compressor. If it is too much low at that time, it shows the error H4. The causes for this is due to the lack of refrigerant. If the refrigerant is low, that time it will show the error. If there is a leakage, then also it shows the error. Sometimes during the startup of our system, if we don't charge, according to the weight or the back pressure of our system at that time also it caused the error h4 so you have to be very careful for the refrigerant charging and to keep the system update all the time you have to check the back pressure if the back pressure is okay then you will not get the error h4 and you will get the solution for the error h4 Let's see the next error code. When you see in your auto display H5, it means compressor motor overload thermostat faulty. This picture you can see, this is the thermostat which is installed just above the top of our compressor unit. First of all, you have to check the resistance of this overload thermostat. If the overload thermostat is not good, the resistance is not good then you have to replace it and you will get the solution for H5 and if the thermostat is good then you have to check the out supply which is coming from our outdoor PCB or you have to check the placement if the placement is good or not then you will get the solution for H5. Let's see the next error code when you see in your auto display H7 it means auto fan motor signal problem. In our outdoor unit of our inverter air conditioning, our fan motor takes the signal from outdoor PCB and return the signal to our outdoor PCB to run efficiently. If the signal coming out from the fan motor is not reaching up to the outdoor PCB, then you get the error H7. To avoid this, you have to check the wire between fan motor and the PCB if it is cut or damaged or if it is internally rusted, you have to check that if it is good it means your fan motor is good or your pcb is not getting the command properly then you have to change the outdoor pcb and if the outdoor pcb is good then you have to change the fan motor